Okay, good evening everybody and welcome to tonight's JCSC. Um, just to let everybody know that the meeting is being recorded um, and you can view it on YouTube afterwards if you wish. Um, let's move to agenda item number one, please. Apologies for absence and substitutes. Councillor Wilkinson. Thank you, Chair. Yeah, apologies from Councillor Feeney and Councillor Miller and Councillor Lawrence and Councillor Pearson are substituting. Okay, and I can see Councillor Elwood's here. Um, Councillor Greensmith is, uh, I don't, Ben is, is Councillor Greensmith sent her apologies or? Yeah, she sent her apologies, Chair. Okay, thank you very much. Um, is the unions okay? I'm, I'm, did somebody put the hand up there? No? All right, okay, no problem. All right, then we'll move on. Okay, I, uh, agenda item number two, to approve a correct record of the minutes of the meeting held on the 15th of November. Um, would somebody like to move those minutes? Um, somebody like to second them? Okay. All in favour of those minutes, please show. Thank you very much. Any abstentions? Yep, thank you very much. Um, I could do with a paper copy. <laughs> okay. Um, Okay, agenda item number three, any declarations of interest? Councillor Lawrence. Thank you, Chair. I wish to declare a non-prejudicial interest in uh, agenda item nine, uh, no, sorry, it wasn't nine, was it? Uh, agenda item, yes it is, it's, yep. uh, it is nine, sorry. Uh, as co-chair of the Netherfield Localities Partnership. Thank you very much, Councillor. Okay, moving on to agenda item number four, um, sickness absence, um, the head of HR performance and service planning. Thank you, Chair. So um, the report uh, in terms of its general format and layout you'll be familiar with. Um, hopefully starting with a good news story, I guess. Um, you'll see um, from the appendix on page 10 that we continue to see a downward trend in the levels of sickness absence. Um, we've had that trend now for quite some months. I think this is the seventh month in, in a row. We still experience a, a degree of longer term absence, so I think currently six cases. Um, that said, um, it tells me that uh, in terms of the general uh, underlying absence with shorter term absence cases, uh, we will be seeing a material reduction there. So. Target is nine days, you'll perhaps remember that for, for the year, that's nine full-time equivalent days lost per full-time equivalent employee. Um, currently, uh, when the report was drafted, um, we were running at 9.4 days in December. Uh, what I can tell you is that, uh, not covered in the report because of the, the timing of the papers, but for January we are down now to actually below nine days, below target, uh, 8.9 8 days. So. Um, Quite a positive picture at the moment. Again, when you look at the graph on page, page 10, you'll see that um, the, the higher levels of absence go back towards the end of uh, 2021. Perhaps obvious reasons there in terms of higher levels of absence. We're still in the middle of sort of COVID. Um, some guidance about, I suppose, um, returning to normal life at a time when still uh, there was a prevalence of COVID. Uh, not saying that's not the case anymore, but I think that it's been, I guess, uh, right or wrongly normalised, and actually it's really part of everyday life. It's more of an endemic uh, con condition, it seems now. And absences um, are beginning to uh, fall when compared to the same periods last year. So um, probably wouldn't say any more than that, Chair. Um, the recommendation is just to note the report, uh, but happy to take questions. Okay, thank you very much. Does anybody have any questions on agenda item number four? No, nope. okay, so we'll uh, take the recommendation um, and take it as noted. Thank you very much, David. Uh, agenda item number five, this is you again, David. Thank you, Chair. So, um, again, a, a standard uh, standing item, uh, the report reports to committee, occasions where we have made minor establishment changes uh, outside the full consultation pro uh, process involving the, uh, the JCSC. Just one change to report, uh, which actually was in uh, our own team, my own team, 
uh, where we have made uh, slight changes to the structure. Uh, we've combined uh, the remnants of an old trading post, eight hours, with um, the senior HR officer post. Uh, that was a retirement after very long service, almost uh, 30 years with the council, uh, to create a new post, uh, a new 26 and a half hour post of um, senior personnel and trading officer. And I can report actually, we, we uh, had interviews last week and we've been able to successfully appoint uh, a new candidate. Uh, probably won't disclose the name now, we're still going through one or two final checks, but we're hoping to, uh, to get somebody with us from the 1st of March. So uh, a fast turnaround for us. So again, chair the report uh, just recommends um, noting. Thank you very much. Um, I don't believe there's any questions, so we'll take the recommendation and report the uh, note the report. Thank you very much. Okay, move on to agenda item number six. Um, anything that the chair consi considers urgent. I don't have anything that I consider urgent, but I would just like to uh, note that. Tonight is the last meeting of the JCSE for this calendar year. Um, so I'd just like to put on record my thanks to the vice chair of the committee, Councillor Roxanne Ellis, for deputising and also for everybody's attendance uh, throughout the year. So we'll move on to agenda item number seven. It's the exclusion of press and public um, due to the following agenda item eight, nine and ten. Uh, having uh, restricted information in it. So can I ask, can somebody move that, please? Move Thank it. you very much. Um, and a seconder, please. Thank you very much. Um, all in favour, please show. Thank you very much. Okay, 